All right, and now we're joined by two-time world champion, two-time Olympic silver medalist, world cross-country champion, Helen O'Beary. Helen, thanks so much for taking the time to sit down and chat with us. Thank you so much, first of all, for inviting me here today. So you're, you're back in Eugene. You've raced here a couple times. How, how do you feel, the excitement of the, another world championships? It's my great opportunity to be here because I've been racing this track for, since 2013, and I'm happy to come back here to do world championships tomorrow. How do you view the world championships as a meet composed, as so many people see the Olympics, where do you see the world championships in relation to the Olympic competition? I can just say it's all about maybe it's competition, it's event. You cannot say that world champions bigger than Olympics and the Olympics bigger than world champions. For me, I think it's an event. Of course, you need to perform well because it's Olympics, even it's a world champions, it's a world class event of which you need to focus and you need to do well. What's been your favorite of all the world championships and Olympics you've been to? I can say it's world championships in 2017, London World Championships. Why? Because it was my breakthrough. Mm -hmm. I won there 5,000. And from there, I've been winning all through. Yeah. Yeah. As you return here to this meet, you're a defending champion, but not in the events you're going to run. So before I get to the 10,000, I want to know, like, will you have an eye on the 5,000 to see who's going to take your, take your title? I can just say I'm not trying to do 5K, of course, but they are so strong ladies. I can say maybe we have strong ladies from Ethiopia. They have been doing 14, 12. Maybe I can see that Ethiopians, maybe they are going to take the title. Maybe even one, two, three from Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What went into the decision to choose the 10,000 instead of the 5,000? You know, recently I've been focusing on track road races. I've been doing 10K, I've been doing 21K. So for me, I decided maybe it's, uh, it's my time to do 10K and 5,000. 5, you know, 5,000 is a lot of speed. Of course, I've been not doing speed and I was not prepared to come in this race. So I think 10K is much better for me now. 5k mm -hmm. yeah 5,000 is speed after 14 and a half 14 minutes it's great to see how fast people can run the last lap um, <laughs> so uh, give us your scouting report or how you see the rest of the field that you're up against in the 10,000 I can just say there are very very strong ladies there and you know it's a championships it's nobody's game anybody can win it's all about your mind it's all about how you focus it's all about you prepared. For me, I can say, when you come to race, I say I'm the best. And when you come to race, you don't come to lose. So I'll, I come to race to win. There are very strong ladies from US, from Kenya, from maybe, let me say, like all over the country. It's a championships. And when you come to a championships, that means you are strong. And me, what I can say, I'm better than anyone. So for me, I focus to do my best. I can't see that we have somebody here, we have somebody here. I come here to do my best and to give out my best. One of my favorite things, I went back and watched the race from Doha uh, in the 5,000, the final lap. And just when you go to the arms, it's my favorite thing to see <laughs> is just, and that's, that's from that speed and that kick. Can we see that uh, in the 10,000 this time around? I can't just say yes because on last month we did our trials and the last lap I did like 60. Wow. And you know it's in Nairobi, it's high altitude. So for me, I start say that if we are going to go like one lap to go, I do like maybe 59, 60. Okay. And it depends who is faster. <laughs> yeah. I love that. You're going to run 24 laps and then you're going to run one that's 60. Yes. <laughs> How fast are you going to run the first 24? Like, what's a comfortable pace if you went out and said, this is where I'd like it to go? You know, in championship, you can't say maybe I want to do and this and this because there's no pacemakers. Mm -hmm. You can't just say. When you go to a race, you can just watch your opponents the way they are doing. And you to watch them, maybe you can just say, maybe I feel like going. Maybe three laps to go. Maybe if you are feeling, your body feels to go, you can just go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This year, there's been a couple different changes for you. You changed sponsors, and so you've got <laughs> new shoes to try out. How exciting was that, you know, a couple months ago? First, I can say, like, 
it was a bit challenging for me for the first time. I said, how can I go on to catch up with people? But when the first time in Nihon, people were so friendly, were so amazing to me, welcoming, and they were following up to me. Are you training well? Everything. So I love them, and it's a great opportunity mm -hmm. to work with them. You know, I've been working with Nike for like so many years, and I can just say they only are the best to work with them. So I do appreciate for the opportunity they gave me to work with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I wouldn't let them down. Yeah. Yeah. How big a leap of faith is that, though, for an athlete that you run in these things you're, for years and years and years, and you're careful, you're, you're totally comfortable in what you have, and you now you put so something fast. new on and you lace it up and you go, you know, what's that like to, to make that jump? So, you know, as athlete, you can just say that maybe for any challenges I go and do, I want to see, I want to change. So for me, I wanted to see how hard will be, maybe the shoes, everything there. So for me, I think everything, they fitted me, they are good me, and uh, I like everything. Maybe for training gears, training facilities, it's a perfect, I wouldn't say it's wrong for me. So did you go, how'd you go about finding the, the right shoes for you? What was your, what was your favorite right off the bat? And then you know, the spikes have been really fun to, to watch is because, you know, they're testing them out with the, the track athletes and they're really building them around you guys. Oh, I can't say maybe I like the shoes. The one I'm wearing, exactly you can see, it's so nice for me. Racing shoes, as you can see, racing shoes for the first racing shoes for them. I did in Eastern Blue Half Marathon mm -hmm. and I did like... 64 in a half marathon. Yeah. So I can just say it's the perfect one. I can't compare with others, but it's the perfect one because you know when you run faster, that means the shoe you are wearing is so faster for them. Mm -hmm. So that's why so many people are telling me what shoes of kind you are using. What? So it's nice for me. Yeah. yeah. I've never heard anybody go into a championship and tell me that their training's been awful. But as you talk about training, how has that been? How has the lead up been to coming here and getting yourself prepared for the race? I have been training well, like the, for the last uh, two weeks, I've been focusing on my speed. You know, I've been doing a lot of uh, long runs, but for now, like two weeks, I said, no, let me focus on speed because I'm going to race. So that I can have that mood race, I'm going to run, I'm going to win. So I've been focusing for that one. In terms of the mindset, how do you get yourself mentally prepared for a championship compared to, you know, there's... There's the road races and all that stuff, and it's it's nice. It's a weekend, but this is a championship. There's medals. You're you're representing your country. So how do you focus? I can just say that you need to prepare. There's nothing maybe you can do. Maybe I want to do this one. I want to do this one. Focus on your normal training. You eat well. You drink a lot of water well, and maybe sometimes you tell your mind, "I'm going to a big challenge." It's like you are going to a go. How have you been prepared for? Mm -hmm. The last, maybe, previous training. Because some other girls who are listening with them, I've been listening with them since 5,000 road races. So we knew them. So it's for me and it's for other ladies. How I want to race, how I want to win. At the end of the day, you want to get the winner. You said that you come in and you know that you're the best and you, have, you take that mindset. When you get on the line and you see the rest, of, do you enjoy knowing that the rest of the people have to watch where you are in the race? and that you're one of the people that they have to key off. Like, no matter how much they do, or where they are, they need to know where's, where's Helen, where's Helen. <laughs> like, do you enjoy having that sort of aura when you go into a race? Yes, you know, sometimes when you hear yeah, somebody's watching you, maybe the commercial, Ellen O'Beer is here, you just feel that, oh, I'm somebody special. Maybe it's because someone is saying you are here. And sometimes people are watching you all over the country, all over the world, like me, say it's an international event. Everybody's watching you. Everybody will be here, how Obiri how be going to do. So it's for you to make extra hard, maybe to not let your fans down to perform well. So sometimes you have a pressure, how am I going to perform? Because everybody is watching me. Mm -hmm. yeah. How about the, your fellow competitors? Do you like to look at them and go, <laughs> I'm Helen O'Beary, and if you're going to get on the podium, you'll have to go by me, and that's not going to be easy. <laughs> I think they know me and we know each other. So for now, maybe I've not been racing so many races this year. So maybe they can say, maybe she's not in a good form. You know, you can't know the, how I've been training. But for me, I wouldn't say maybe I've been training well, I've been training hard. So it's all about the race. It will tell us who I've been going to train. Mm -hmm. When's the last time you got 
nervous before a race. Do you still get nervous before a world championship? Sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. We do. Okay. Yeah. What about scared? I mean, the night before, are you, you know, talking to your husband or like, how do you, how do you calm the nerves down? Sometimes it, for them, it's to give you motivation because when you come to a bigger championship like this, sometimes it's tricky. Maybe you have tension, you have something. So you need someone to tell you, maybe don't worry, it's about the event, you are going to do well. So you need someone to talk to you and to encourage you, maybe try to work hard, try to focus ahead. Here in the States, uh, we're making a very big deal that this is the last meet and the last race for Allison Felix. And she's been very open about how neat it is that her daughter will be able to see her run. Does your daughter know you're really good? Does she understand <laughs> what you do and that you're really, that mom's awesome? Yeah, she knows very well. Maybe sometimes when I, I lose the game, she can just ask me, Mommy, why didn't you win that race? <laughs> Who those ladies to beat you? You, not, you need to beat them. <laughs> so maybe I try to tell her it's all about the race, but sometimes, you know, it's a small guy. She don't understand. So she just know that the mom is the best. So you do need to lose the race. So sometimes she know I'm, I'm competing. I need to go and lay outside maybe to compete. Mm-hmm. Have you taken her to the track or to, to run yet? Yeah, when I go to track in Kenya, I always go with her, maybe sometimes to watch mommy training, to watch mommy competing, so that she can know what mom is doing the best. Even sometimes when she's going to school, she will say to their friends, mom, my mom is a runner. And when I ask her, you are going to run, she say, no, I can get tired like you. So she don't like running <laughs> <laughs> because she can get tired. <laughs> <laughs> of course it does. Yeah. yeah. Does she does she care if she like kids don't know really times. Does she care whether you win win or lose? Yeah. She does. She's yeah. invested. Wow. She asked me a lot of questions. Why do you allow those ladies to beat you? You have to win. <laughs> so yeah. she's not comforting afterwards. Oh, it's yeah. okay, mom, I love you, you're great. She's why didn't you beat them? <laughs> yeah, but sometimes when I lose the lose just maybe she don't feel good. Why, why? Why don't you want to be number one? I say this a race, maybe you can't just be number one, like troll the race. Say no, next time, don't lose the game. You need to win. When she gets like that, you don't just send her to her room? Just say, listen, <laughs> don't, you can't <laughs> no, do that she to understand. me. <laughs> yeah. You can't talk to me like that. <laughs> no, 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 okay. no, no. You know, it's a baby, maybe. <laughs> she don't know. That's amazing. So uh, the big thing, you've also got coming up is possibly starting to work soon with coach Dathan Ritzenheim. Yeah. What's got you excited about the possibility of, you know, soon moving to the United States and then working with, uh, with coach Ritzenheim and then uh, the rest of the OAC group. First of all, it's a uh, great opportunity for me to come in the U.S. to train with them. And, you know, for the past years, I've been having a coach with my manager has been sending my program to Kenya. He's not around watching me doing but I'm happy I will come here and I will have coach full time watching me, telling me something. You know, you only have one, the coach is not around. Maybe you don't know what you are doing exactly. You can't do 100%. But when you have a coach right to you, he can just tell you do this and this and he's there to watch you, to focus on you. So for me, I believe I will do better having the coach around and he's a qualified coach. He was a runner. So I think it will be perfect for me to go and train with them. Okay, but you know, you talked about running a 64 half. Yes. He ma- he's going to make you run the other half. Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you ready to step up and move to that marathon distance? Yes, of course. I'm, I'm planning to do marathon this year. Yeah. Wow. I'm focusing. Why? <laughs> 10,000 is far enough. No, it's all you're, right. You're like, why run 26 or what is that? 42 or 42 40? kilometers, yeah. Why, when you can be famous for, well, first off, you can be famous at five kilometers. Why you got to go to 42? Sometimes you can't be like, let me say like the age is going up. You can't focus on 10,000 alone. Sometimes you need to go like, I say, I want to see marathon, how people train, how people run there. So it's my opportunity and my happiness to do marathon. It's exciting. We got something to look forward to. Have you seen your marathon team for this? You want to go mess with those girls? Yeah, even me, I'm also the best. Okay. (laughs) Yes. Good. (laughs) We'll let Paris know when she comes by. Are you ready for her? Yes, of course. And I'm trying to give her the challenge. I love that. 
I, I'm all in. I'm, I, I, you know, I'm ready to give you the gold medal to, for uh, right now. <laughs> love oh. brash. We love the confidence. It's terrific. Yeah. Helen, what are you looking forward to outside of your own race to watch at the this World Championships? Outside my race, I'm looking forward to watch 100 meters, man. Yeah. It will be so exciting. Yeah. yeah. Who do you like? I like Fred Gill from US. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I love that. <laughs> Fred like, Curley. Everybody loves Fred Curley. Yeah. <laughs> right. And you see Fred. He's like, going to win. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's where your money is on Fred. <laughs> Obvious. <laughs> love it. <laughs> Helen, this was a blast. I'm, I'm so happy we got the chance to sit down, and we're wishing you all the best of luck uh, in your race. Thank you so much. Thank we'll be you. watching. Terrific. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Perfect.